For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem. As you can see from this problem, at B, there can only be a vertical reaction. If there can only be a vertical reaction, that means that this horizontal uh, member of the truss is a zero. Now, if we go to A, and you know that this is a zero, and you know that we have this force pulling down, then we know that this is also a zero. If this one's a zero, and we got this force going to the left, and this one going to the, I mean, this force going to the right and this one going to the left, then you know that this one's also a zero, which means that there's no reaction here since these are all zero uh, force vectors. And all you gotta do is figure out these two members that are left. You got a member here going up and only a force going down. So dA, this is dA, dA is gonna be equal to 800 pounds because there's only one force going down pulling at 800 pounds. And same, same thing here, this is a 200 pound force DC, is equal to 200 pounds. And we got a reaction of course, because that one will be pulling down, this one will be pulling this way, so reactions will be pulling there and there. As you can see, DC is under tension and DA is under tension as well. So that was an easy problem, final answer. Now the solution on the back might be so showing you something different and there's a bit of controversy on this. I've been trying and trying and do this problem how they say to do it and to me it doesn't give me the right answer. This to me seems to be the right answer. Anybody have any other ideas on how to do this problem? Comment below. But this is the conclusion I have reached. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.